Mm. And local mm -hmm. school districts, they are trying to figure out what the upcoming school year is going to look like. Will it be in person, online, a mix of both? They also must decide how to get safely students, how to safely get students to and from school in a small space where social distancing is nearly impossible. Local 12's Kristen Hauser shows us what some districts are planning for buses. In just a few weeks, you'll start seeing the yellow buses out and about picking up students. But districts can't just double the amount of buses they have or split the routes in half. So your children should expect to see some changes on board. We are going to ask that all students wear some kind of face covering, whether it be a mask or a gaiter, or something that prevents uh, the spread of COVID uh, when they're sitting next to each other to, to a seat on a bus. Lakota schools talked with the county health officials about wearing masks. Because the buses will hold their normal amount of students, the service should be similar to last year. What about sports and other team bus rides? Passage says it will be a very similar situation when it comes to transportation if and when sports and other extracurricular activities with other schools return. We checked around with some other districts too. Cincinnati Public Schools has a similar plan, except it's going to try and have as many students sit by themselves as they can. Seats will also be assigned. Across the river in Kenton County, they're still working on a plan. The district is sending out a survey to parents to see how many plan on sending their kids on the bus. Once it has that number, the district will then begin figuring out the busing situation. No matter where your kids go, though, a mask on the way to and from school is likely going to be mandatory. But Passage wants to remind everyone that as new information comes out on the virus and best practices, things could change. There could be opportunities where what we have in place now is going to change. So we just got to be uh, proactive as much as we can. Once we get the new data, new information, we'll communicate that to parents. In Liberty Township, Christian Hauser, Local 12 News. And parents, you will play a critical role in slowing the spread too. Make sure that you're checking your children for symptoms of the coronavirus and keep them home if they're showing any symptoms.